Hi, my name is Lisa Allen. Welcome to this English lesson. En esta lección tenemos un objetivo. Hacer preguntas usando las formas del verbo to be. Formas en preguntas del verbo to be es nuestro contenido conceptual. El profesor de inglés va a explicar un proyecto especial para la clase. Let's begin the lesson. To be in questions. How do we make a question using forms of the verb to be? Remember, the forms of to be are am, is, are, was, were. The form has to move to the front of the sentence. For example, here's a sentence. The lady is beautiful. There's our word to be is. We're going to make a question now. How do we do that? We move is to the beginning. So the question would be, is the lady beautiful? Question mark. Is moves to the beginning, then the subject, then the other information, and a question mark at the end. So what happened? Form of be in the front, the subject, information, question mark. Some more examples. I am your best friend. If we move am to the beginning, we would ask the question, am I your best friend? You are tall. Move the R to the beginning. Are you tall? The boy is friendly. Is the boy friendly? Notice your voice goes up at the end also. The boat was in the water. Was the boat in the water? The children were playing. Were the children playing? When we form correct questions directly, we can just follow this little formula. Form of to be, plus the subject, plus the information, plus the question mark. Now you get to try. I have a list here of forms of to be. Am, is, are, was, were. Then there's a list of possible subjects. The families, their friends, your mom, the policeman, I. Then we have information, bothering you, a nurse, at the party, working last night, ready to go. And then we have question marks for every sentence. You get to form some sentences. Take a verb, take a subject, information, and a question mark, and form a sentence that makes sense. For example, here are some possible answers, and of course there are lots of others. Am I bothering you? Is your mom a nurse? Is the policeman at the party? Are the families at the party? Are their friends bothering you? Are their friends ready to go? Was the policeman working last night? Was your mom a nurse? Were their friends ready to go? Were the families working last night? There are many combinations that you can make. Now, how do you answer a question with, with to be in it? Well, the answer has to have yes or no. For example, are you an engineer? Now, how do we answer? We can say yes or we can say no. We can say no, I am not. What happened? We say no first, then we change the subject because the person asking the question is saying you. We answer and say I. Then we change the verb to match I. So we have to say I am not. Is Juan an engineer? Yes or no? Yes, he is. Remember, we changed Juan to he, which is fine, or we can say yes, Juan is. And we use the same is because Juan and he are both normal singular subjects. Were the stu students at school? Yes, they were. Or you can say, no, they were not. Am I bothering you? Can you give me the answers? No, you are not, or yes, you are. Is your mom a nurse? No, she is not, or yes, she is. 
Are the families at the party? No, they are not. Or, yes, they are. Was the policeman working last night? No, he was not. Or, yes, he was. We've seen six new phrases or words in this lesson. Review, best, bothering, move, friendly, ready to go. Y también hemos terminado con nuestro objetivo, hacer preguntas usando las formas del verbo to be. Y estas formas en preguntas del verbo to be es nuestro contenido conceptual. Thank you. Thank you.